All right, let's talk about Elements Vulnerability Management Risk Score and how it helps you in prioritizing which vulnerabilities you should fix first. So back in the day, the only option that you had is kind of like trying to sort these in the amount of vulnerabilities, how many critical ones do you have, how many medium ones do you have, and imagine that I have in this test environment only six devices, and if you would be having, let's say, hundreds or thousands of assets or devices, well, that prioritization work is even more difficult. So that's why we introduced the risk scoring, which will help a lot, because it takes into consideration a lot of more things than the amount of vulnerabilities. So let's change the filtering in a way that we will now look at the risk scoring. And you might notice that this device here is dropped down on the list to the third position. And you can actually see that it's a minimum risk score. So why is that happening? The reason is that we are calculating a lot of stuff in, into this risk score. In case you are interested in this mathematical formula, it's documented here. You can check it from this pane. But we can now see that actually we only have one really serious risk score, and then we have one low, and the rest of them are minimal. So this will tremendously help you to start choosing which ones to fix first. So why this one is now serious here with the point of a score of, sorry, score of 83 out of 100. The reason is that we also calculate the importance of the asset. We calculate different flags. So this asset is exposed to the internet and also these um, vulnerabilities that we have identified, they have publicly available exploits, which means that they are relatively easy to exploit. And when this device is exposed to the internet, there is a high risk that someone will try to exploit this vulnerability. So let's, let's look at this, how you can change this. So we open, for instance, this one, the third one here. So we have some flags here, which you can set. So for instance, this is a minor importance. If we think that this device is now critical and we have now exposed this device to the internet. I'll hit save and we see immediately the asset risk score changed to moderate. And then if we go back to the assets view, we can see that now this device is actually more, it has more priority due to the fact that we, it is now internet exposed and it's critical in the importance. That's how the asset risk score basically works. Really helps you to prioritize different um, aspects in the vulnerability management.